this is a topic discussing working of rectifiers rectifier is a device used for converting alternating current to direct current the basic principle of a rectifier is the forward biased and reverse biased conduction and non conduction property of a diode a diode conducts when it's forward biased in reverse bias it does not conduct provided the voltage does not go beyond the breakdown voltage so this is divided section wise into principal circuit diagram wave form working so the first part is the principal it conducts only when forward biased and does not conduct in reverse bias provided the voltage is less than the breakdown voltage so first part there are two basic types of simple rectifiers first one is called a half wave rectifier now as a name indicate out of the ac input only one half wave is converted into dc this is called half wave rectifier the circuit diagram includes a step down transformer primary of the transformer connected to the ac input secondary of the transformer is connected to the load resistor this the device where we need current in the same direction and a diode is connected in series to the resistor to the secondary of the transformer the transformer helping stepping down the input voltage from very high nearly 220 to 230 to 6 volt 9 volt 12 volt as per the demand of the device for example if the load resistor is a mobile the charging voltage may be 3 volt or 6 volt if it's a laptop it may be 12 volt if it's any device working with 9 volt whatever like the voltage output you can select the transformer as per that so one use of the transformer is it can reduce the input voltage from high to the required low value second advantage it avoids direct connection to the ac mains which is 230 volt if you directly uh, get in contact with the ac mains you get a shock which can be dangerous but here the voltage is only 2 to 12 volt that range so it is helping us to avoid shocks is so a two basic use of transformer and these two points no need of mentioning in the diagram if they don't ask we can directly go from circuit diagram or drawing perfect diagram to the wave form then working so the wave form represent the voltage at a since it's ac voltage it becomes alternately positive and negative this is the positive peak of voltage a after a positive peak voltage at a become negative again become positive negative alternate positive and negative whenever a is plus b is minus whenever a is minus b is plus the output voltage across a load will be clear once you start with the working whenever the voltage at a is positive the p of the diode p section of the p side of the diode is connected to the positive and n section is connected to the negative so diode become forward biased a forward biased diode conducts the current will flow from a then through the load resistor from x to y b back to the transformer so when the voltage at a is positive the diode is forward biased and it conducts current flows through the load from x to 
why the direction is important because dc you can't have a different direction current every time it has to be from x to y if it flows now next instant when the uh, voltage t is negative p region is connected to negative n is connected to positive so the diode is reverse biased since reverse biased it does not conduct nothing is available across the load that's why the output is absent when the voltage t is negative voltage at a is positive whatever at a exactly you can get at what uh, across the load also now this process will be repeated again and again so whenever a becomes positive the diode is forward biased conductant and output is available that will be from x to y whenever a is negative the diode is reverse biased and does not conduct no output is available across the diode the basic limitation for a half wave rectifier since it don't convert half the wave and it loses energy due to heat and other type of losses the output efficiency will be less than 50 percentage even output is not a perfect dc perfect dc we need a constant value of voltage this voltage is increasing then absent then again increasing and decreasing so the output voltage is pulsating means increasing and decreasing and is intermittent intermittent means present then absent present absent so these are the two basic limitations of half wave rectifier efficiency is less than 50 percentage output is not a perfect dc the output is pulsating and intermittent even it is in the same direction so if you count the number of positive peaks number of positive peaks in the input ac number of positive peaks in the output dc uh, not perfect dc but still same direction we can call it as dc or uh, it's a same two peaks here this also two peaks in the same time that means frequency of the output is same as frequency of the input 